access to Johnston Ridge Observatory is going to be blocked due to this landslide for quite some time. Washington State Route 504 leading up to Mount St. Helens is closed because of this massive landslide that came down on Sunday night, the day before opening up to the public for the summer. Yeah, uh, disappointing, but uh, we'll, we'll be working on helping folks understand what some alternatives are to help meet their needs. Gayla Miller is with the Department of Agriculture. She believes clearing the debris safely and fixing the highway and bridge will take at least a year. That means no cars can go up there. And while the lookout will stay open to those who hike up, it closes the indoor theater and exhibits at the Johnston Ridge Observatory. When the landslide or debris flow came down, it cut the uh, power lines and the fiber optic lines. Um, we have no electricity to the building currently, and it wouldn't be safe to open the facility. And we have no way to get our staff up there. Miller says it's because they need to identify funding for the repairs and allow the debris flow to dry up so they can remove materials the landslide brought with it. But this doesn't mean people can access other Mount St. Helens attractions. The climbing route to the summit is still open. So are some hiking trails and viewpoints like Ape Cave, Lava Canyon and Lahar. Still working out some of the details about we have a lot of uh, series of connected trails out there in the monument. And we're still sort of discussing uh, which ones will um, be open and how folks can access those. This is also where 12 people and a dog had been rescued on the east side of the slide. Everyone was airlifted out Monday morning, but their cars are still stuck up there. They're left wondering how or if their cars will get hoisted out by a helicopter and who would pay for it. Daisy Caballero, KGW News.